Hey, what's going on there, good citizens? I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Another episode of Riding with Q. Hey, so uh, I got I got a request. Somebody somebody wanted to know about my my story from when I was at at uh, the basic school and I saw a bear on Nightland Navigation. I'm explain this to you. This is crazy. The whole the whole goddamn story is crazy. But so look. First off, some of y'all probably don't know what Nightland Navigation is. A lot of you do, and you're like, yeah, I remember it, it sucks. Uh, and for those of you who don't, let me paint this, let me paint this image for you of what this is. So they give you they give you a, a class and they teach you how to like work this 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 compass that you're gonna hold in your hand, and then you gotta wait until it's completely dark. You can't use a flashlight, they give you a box to start at. Hey, so you're gonna start at this box. Spin your little compass to whatever degrees, you know, 330 degrees, and you're gonna walk 980 meters to your next box. It's completely dark. It is not an open field. There are sticker briars. There's all types of wildlife, it, it, you, you name it. It's a horrible situation. Oh, and by the way, you gotta cross through this freezing beaver dam creek or whatever it's called you gotta walk you gotta walk through it and keep shooting your asthma it's, ho it's, ho it's horrible you're gonna fall man you getting through little sticker briars yeah it's, cr it's crazy right so you just while you shoot this little asthma i i gotta walk to this point stuff i, I just walked through a spider web look at me look look at me i am not an outdoors person at all humans i can deal with humans you know hey I, I, I have no problem throwing these hands with a human when it comes to outdoor activities i am not the friend that you want to call when you have a camping adventure of any sorts like it like hey man you want to get together and go in the middle of nowhere it's just us and set up shop and camp you can ask me because you, you want to be nice and include me but you know damn well i am going to say no i do not mess with wildlife so here's what happened it's Nightland Navigation. I'm out there. I'm shooting my little azimuth and everything's going horribly wrong. But whatever. It's cool. You know, I'm just out there just struggling along with everybody else who's struggling and some people excelling. And that's cool. I was not that guy. So, hey, we're friends. We're, we're, we're friends. I'm going to keep it all the way honest with you, man. So, I'm shooting my little azimuth, man. And then, like, I hear, like, some rustling. Sounds like a human. I hit that little, that little, what the hell is that lean, right? I was like, I had my little asthma, I was shooting that little thing. What the hell is that? I don't see no silhouette of no human, no nothing, right? So I'm like, uh, this some, this some, this some bullshit. So, <laughs> I look, and then there's a, a goddamn bear, man. It, it, it wasn't big. It was like, I don't know, like, like, Bigger than a pit bull. It's a little, it's like a baby bear. And I was like, oh, that's that bullshit. Where's mama bear at, right? So I take my little red flashlight and I scan just to make sure that what I'm seeing is a bear. I saw the little stubby tail and everything. It wasn't a possum. It was a goddamn bear. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe mama bear somewhere around. Maybe she's attracted to red light. I don't know. But like, do you remember it in, in, in Fast and Furious when Tyrese is on the plane and he's like, going on and on with itself about why he shouldn't parachute out in a car, which he made very valid points. All of that was going on in my mind as to why I should not be in those woods right now, right? So I take my red flashlight, my little, my little car. Now, I didn't tell the instructors that I did this, right? I told them like, I dropped it, I freaked out. That is not exactly what happened. So I saw the bear, I was like, you know what? This some bullshit. None of this was in a pamphlet. None of this was in orientation. Nobody told me I was gonna see any freaking bears. I threw that shit down and walked back, man. I was like, yo, I am done. Man, they got me messed all the way up, right? So I get I get back. On my way back, I see this girl and, and we're not supposed to be talking during, during night land now. I wasn't communicating with her. I was just giving a warning. I was like, hey, there's a bear back there. She's like, don't mess with it. I was like, I'm not, I'm leaving. She kept going. I assumed she passed. Good on her. Not me. I go all the way back to the to the to the area, just terrified. I tell the instructors I saw a bear. And I was like, you saw a bear. It's like, yeah, I saw a bear. Like it, it, was, it was really a bear. Like, I can't make this up. Like, there was a bear out there. So in my mind, me telling them, I'm thinking, 
you know, I don't know, I'm not an outdoors person, but I was like, maybe, you know, they have a bear retrieval committee of some sort. Maybe they're gonna, maybe, maybe somebody's gonna get the bear out of there and put it in this respective area. I don't know, say something to make me feel safe. They was like, nah, man, where's your card? Like my card. And this is where I kind of like, I didn't explain the whole, I threw it down out of anger. I was like, I dropped it, I freaked out, which I did kind of freak out, but like, I guess, I got scared, man, but I, I, I was huffing and puffing. So then I was like, all right, well, you fail, you're gonna have to go back and do it again. And, and I, in my mind, I'm like, well, what about the bear? Like, is anybody gonna acknowledge like there is really a bear out there? Or are they just like, gonna like make it seem like I'm crazy? And like, I can't, you know, some people are probably like, oh, that was cool, that was, that was just like one time, listen, I failed Nightland now so many goddamn times. Each time I was more scared than the last. And it started out, and I'll tell you how many times I failed. It started in the winter time, it was cold, I was jumping in Beaver Dam Run, I, it, it was, it didn't feel very nice. When I finished, there was, there was leaves on the trees, like, it was like the last, like, the, the last night land now before graduation, I was at that one. I was at, I was at that, and luckily I passed. It was either like, I would pass and I was late, I was late and I failed. I was on time and I failed. it was, oh man, it was, it was horrible. But the whole, the whole thing is, I saw a goddamn bear and nobody acknowledged it and everybody tried to make it seem like I was crazy. All the way up until the end, when the instructor was like, hey man, there, yeah, there have been sightings of a bear in the trash. And I was like, ha, so y'all trying to make me seem like I was crazy the whole time. But, hey, I can ramble on and on about this, but that was my, 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 my bear story. And a disclaimer, cause somebody's probably like, oh my God, he has on a do-rag. Uh, listen, listen. I do, I have on a do-rag. I'm grooming, I'm grooming my hair. It's like brushing your hair, you gotta keep the waves flat. Uh, I don't wear this outside of the car. I, I, I just put it on to make sure I have the good, uh, the good waves. I care about these things, which is like another telltale sign of why obviously I am not an outdoorsy person. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's that, that's my long rant about my whole experience with the bear. It wasn't. It wasn't a big one. It was a bear. But like, yo, if you, yeah, the bear. So there's that. <laughs> hey, again, thanks for for tuning in and riding with you. I appreciate you guys. Y'all are the bees knees. Peace.